Hello gang, it's me again, Uncle Festa, Festa 67's workshop, courtesy of me. Kaching. Right, what are we gonna be building? We're gonna be doing that. Return of the Jedi AT AT. Okay. But I'm gonna put a twist on it. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. I just want to reiterate one thing before I start the filming process. This isn't a dig at the Star Wars community. Uh, I just want to clarify that. I love the work they all do, etc, etc. This is just my little quirky take on that particular vehicle and I'm going to be calling it the Cat Cat. It's going to be done in Caterpillar livery, heavy plant machinery, etc, etc, etc. So, hopefully, you'll like what I'm going to do with it. Now, it involves quite a bit of scratch building. I'm going to be building platforms, staircases, and things to make it look like an industrial piece of plant equipment. Why I'm doing that over here, you ask? Because I just fancy doing something different with it. Okay, so, sit back, enjoy the build. I hope you like it. Um, again, you know, it's not a dig at the Star Wars community, this is just a little quirky build uh, that is my take on something that I fancy doing. Okay, so sit back, enjoy the video, see you shortly. Right, <clears throat> camera adjust there. Right, <clears throat> we are. Okay, <clears throat> well, this is an old MPC Ertl uh, kit from 1983. Now I'm going to do this as a caterpillar plant machine. Okay, so all we're going to do in this build is I'll just move the box out of the way for a second bring up the instructions. That's a really really simple build this one so I'm not going to bore you with the glue in together stage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to build the head, the body, attach the head to the body section, put all the auxiliaries on and it is literally going to be build the legs but not attach them to the body okay so we'll end up with a complete body section and then four individual legs okay so I'm going to build that off camera probably lay down the base coats of yellow and black that I initially want to use and focus more on this build on the scratch build components that I'm going to be adding as well as the weathering and the custom decals that will be applied so that's how I'm going to do it uh, I'm going to test on the head and probably some of the panels my final color scheme and add a little bit of weathering just to see what I think and then leave the weathering of the body and probably two of the legs to go through with you uh, what I'm going to be doing. So I'll have a weathered leg on screen and then I'll put a non-weathered leg next to it so you can see a comparison. And then I'll show you how I go from them base colours to the finished weathered item. Not sure of a base yet, probably be something like... Uh, a quarry or, or something like that. I just need to think about that a bit. Okay, so off camera we're gonna get on, glue everything and build it and then when we come back I'll then stack up the bits in front of you where I've got to and then go through how we scratch build things like the gantries and the side doors and things that I'm just gonna add to the body to de-star walls it a little bit. Okay, See you in a moment. Right, back again. We've now built 
the body. Okay, with a head that's slightly weathered, so you can see the difference between that colour and the base colours. Okay, I've added a couple of little sections here on the panels as well, just to start building that out. I've not primed at this area because I've got to sketch out where all my gantries are going to go. But that just gives you an idea of the colour scheme I'm going for. And then underneath I've gave silver and then a quick burnt umber uh, pin wash to everything just to try to start the metalising process. And the same with the engine cluster on the back. Okay. It's not going to be super shiny, this is just so that I can apply weathering and decals and things, okay? So that's the body, and then I've got the four individual legs, they've got the yellow on, and then these areas are going to be black. And then I've got one that's already done in Tamiya yellow and rubber black just to give you an idea of what the base section looks like. And then I've got another one that I've started to weather. See, and the yellow's had a burnt umber, a raw umber wash, oil gone over it, and then wiped off, and then some dry brushing and, and things, a quick coat of gloss to protect it, and then that will be matted down. So there's a a comparison for you of before and after, okay? Well, so what else have we got? I've raided me Greebly's box as well. I have various model parts all over the place. These are parts that came with the kit, little ships guns that I'm going to modify and add to the actual build of the Star Wars Cat Cat, should we call it now. And then I have a bag of odd parts and wheels and shizzle that I've gone through. And what that's left me with. Let's move me to back a tin out of the way. There's loads and loads of greeblies. What's a greebly, I hear you ask? A greebly is components that are left over from previous model kit builds. Okay. So I'll just sling them all on here. Just to let you see, these are all bits of styrene, don't need them there for a minute. These are just old little components, bits of sprue, various model parts that I've got laying around that I think I can repurpose on this build. Okay, and what I hear you ask, am I going to make out of this lot? Well, for a start. I had some figures left over from my Apollo 1 or Apollo 11 Saturn V rocket. So I'm going to sling the figures on a platform on top there. So you've got a couple of workmen out there. Eh? So I'll paint them all up so that'll add a little more character. These are hubcaps left over from the full transit build, see? Well, I'd done the wheels in yellow and black, so I didn't use the hubcaps. But what I have since found out is I had an old 747 egg plane that I didn't put the landing gear on. So if you take one of them wheels off of there, he says optimistically, let's just get a pair of pliers, to get that wheel off and show you what I mean. Pull the wheel off and what I found is you've got a little recess in there 
sling that wheel in there like so. So if I get a bit of glue, and I'll show you what I mean. This is where you can repurpose bits. So I'll slap a block of glue and put the 747 wheel right in the middle of it. Same on the other side. And drop that on there. Marry them up and let that dry. And what you'll end up with is a pulley. So that now can sit on the outside of the body on a crane stanchion and becomes a winch pulley. See? And that's a couple of old full transit hubcaps. She can do all kinds of things with it. I've got a full transit dashboard, left hand drive, left over from the transit build. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna cut, he says optimistically looking very sore. Preparation is the key when you're doing a video build. There you go, found it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right away through here and then use this section on top as like a, a control console. Okay, so I'll lose all of this and just use that section upwards, chop it off nice and square. Standard workman in front of it, that now becomes a control panel on top of the CAT. Uh, various things there, that's uh, an old mechanism, that's going to be the crane mechanism. And on there is going to sit the pulley on the end of it, and that becomes a winch to lay, lift and lower items from. Uh, remains of a, a stand that came with the Ravel Hindenburg airship kit. Well, I got it hanging from the ceiling, so I didn't use this. Chop the front off, turn it upside down, and that will become a mounted platform to suspend the floor out over the edge of the vehicle. Okay, so it'll almost give the floor a bit of support. So that just needs a bit of trimmage to get that to work and then obviously various bits of styrene I've marked strips out on that will be little staircases, gantries, walkways and things like that. That there is the remains of the internals from the Ed Force 1747 undercarriage. Well I have got my undercarriage up with the covers on so again these will become little sections that will come out and hang over that people can stand in and view whatever. So that's roughly what we're going to be up to today. So what I've got on this side is I want to make a floor that comes along this line Where these two panels are here, I want to make some sort of industrial looking door system. You know, the vertical lines down it, so it looks like it's a big sliding shutter door. Coming up in front of that, I want to have a staircase. things like that that then leads up to the gantry that overhangs the sides of the cat cat and then there's going to be a cat decal with the logo on and then along the sides here various sort of square sections with canisters poking out of them that sort of thing just to make it look a bit industrial okay 
so I know in my head what I want it to look like it's now utilising what I've got in my Greebley's box well straight away I can look at that wheel which is a 747 <laughs> landing wheel glue that to that probably two each side give them a bit of a sand down and they'll become almost like gas canisters or whatever that are poking out so little things like that that you can do just to give it a bit of feature so that's what my plan is today so I'm going to whop a bit of glue on in a few places just to start the process off and see what we come up with so don't worry about how pretty it looks that's not what we're about today what we're about today is just planning the initial uh, build process this is an old bit from me London bus build uh, and that's got edges on I was going to use this to bury my soundboard in and then change my mind so that will become the door section like so and then I can build a frame around it and just make it look a bit sexier so that's what the plan is for things okay so kind of know what I want to do but I'm winging, winging it as well right so let's put a bit of a bit of glue around some of these edges and start getting things roughly in place Ugh. and just start start the ball rolling so what I'll just grab a little bit of spray gut and start dressing up some of the edges there. I kind of know where I'm going with this. Sorry, I was off camera there, people. Apologies. Again, I'll just move my cam corner so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. There you go. And I'm just filling in the gap with a bit of sprue goo at this stage because all of this is going to be hidden under another floor section. Doing it at this stage makes it a lot easier for me rather than trying to backfill everything. Like that. settled for a little while this bottle just like so let me pinky along there like that and then drop a bit stage uh, let's drop a couple of more 
landing gear wheels in, I reckon. Couple from there. Poor old greebly draw. for a couple of smaller ones. Yeah, let's put a couple of smaller ones on there. On that side. matter then of building little little bits and bobs just to try to get the effect that I'm after uh, so I want to make a little section of box out of this and it looks very haphazard that's because it is too worried about detail at this stage, this is just initial shapes that I'm making. Just to form things that I want to form, that's all I'm trying to do at this stage. fingers faster, why don't you? That's it. There. And then that becomes the beginnings of what I want. Now you might be struggling to see what I'm, what I'm thinking here, but I kind of know what I, I want this to look like, so it'll all come together when you least expect it, so bear with me, stick with me and you'll see hopefully where I'm going with this. There you go, just build that edge up a little bit. 
then a balcony or whatever you want to call it a little bit of sprue goat just to tidy that up sand off anyways but we're just building initial floor sections that's all I'm up to at the moment the ends of gas canisters which will all be primed and painted the yellow of that and then that will be black so we can now look at building a bit of a floor so let's think of a decent way of doing the floor uh, come up the way like so I want a floor section to come out 
over the top of there. So let's have a look at me strip. Make myself the beginnings of a floor, I reckon. which will be them brackets so cut there and right along the edge that's all I want some extra thin in there. I need the 
bracket off at that end. To bring the floor up. Slap a bit of spro go on there. Do exactly the same as I did the other end. Just to get the initial shape that I want. gradually beginning to take the shape of what I'm after. <clears throat> I can see it in the head. Hopefully you guys are not too uh, as to what I'm doing. I kind of know where I need it to be. Let's try to make a gantry floor. Start the ball rolling on that. That's roughly what I'm after. Back a bit of go for a bit of MIG extra fin on this. We've got a bit more grab to it. And that should then start pulling that to where I want it to go. idea of how far down that needs to go. About there. Get rid of that. And then how far out we're coming. Then give me a 
as near as damn it. What I'm after. A little section of the floor. So I just need to lop a little bit off the end. And again, any indifferent, any, oh, what's the word? Any differences I can take up at the end with a bit of sanding and a bit of gluing. But at the moment, I just want to get bits roughly in place so that I can then do any finishing that I need to do regarding it. So I'm not too worried about parallel edges or things quite meeting up at this stage because I'm just going for my initial layout. This is just the structure. I've still got other bits to add to finish it all off like front front edges out of single sheets of styrene. This is just structure. That's all this is at the moment, so I'm not fussed whether there's gaps or anything too much because I've got another strip going over the front of this piece that I'm, that I'm gluing at the moment. There's another strip to go over the front edge of that, so that'll tie all of that together. This is just the initial backbone structure of getting things in situ and supported and whatever else I need to do. Yeah. So I had a bit of sprue go down the side of that now. Excellent. So that's the first part. Just to give that a chance to start settling before I then go on and do other other areas, but as an initial start, I'm quite happy to let that cure now. Just to start letting things tie in with where I want them to be. And then all of this will get sanded, smoothed, primed, etc. But as an initial start, I'm quite content with that because the floor is going to come right the way around the front edges of that. So, you know, I've got that all to make yet. So, all in all, initially, I'm quite, quite pleased that things are going in the right direction for me. And then I'll be doing something else to the other side of that as well, making some strips and various gubbins. But the initial display is going to be roughly this side, so this is the side that I'm going to focus on. diagonal gantry to make that goes up to the top deck so that will come across the way sort of something like that so it's like a staircase that comes up from there to there and then joins a bit of floor that comes out so
Just like so. I could probably bend that. Get that more or less ready to glue. Yeah, we'll go for that, I reckon. It's a staircase. It's got to put the banisters on that on it. a good start on that. I'm happy with it anyway. Uh, kind of knowing where I want to go with it helps. Helps me. It probably doesn't help you guys because you're all trying to second guess what the hell I'm doing. But I kind of, I kind of know what I want out of it. Put all my greeblies out of the way until I'm ready to come back on that. And, and let all the glue and everything dry on that so that I can come back and start dressing it up and making it look a little bit neater than it currently does because obviously it looks a little bit of a pig's ear at the moment. Like I say, once everything settled down and the stairs are settled down, I can make me banisters and, and all that goes with it. Uh, put a little bit more MIG in there just to try and pull that together. You will comply. Resistance is futile. When we come back, we'll carry on, get the rest of that made, uh, get the floor all done, and then we can prime, start weathering, and getting the rest of this little uh, cat cat finished for you. So hopefully you get where I'm going with it. Um, you will do at the end. So I'll catch you in a bit. Thank you for watching.